Today we're going to repair a Series 100 pump, uh, and these are the tools that you'll need to uh, get the job done easy. A flat-headed screwdriver, a 5 8 inch socket wrench, a uh, eighth inch T Allen wrench, a 7 16 open end wrench, and a 9 16 open end wrench and a nice little block of wood and you'll see how they're all used uh, during the repair. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, your power lines are disconnected or you turn the switch off to the pump. After that you want to make sure that you isolate the pump by turning off uh, your service valves and uh, then what you want to do is take your 9 sixteenths and start loosening the body bolts on the pump. And you want to do this slow because there's going to be pressure on the pump from the system. So do it slow and get a couple of rags so the water doesn't drip all over the floor. All right, now you've got it all loose and you want to draw it straight back out of the body, like so. And if you notice, the gasket came with it. You want to throw that gasket away because it's been used and you don't want to reuse a, a gasket because it might leak when you install it. Now we're going to take the bearing assembly off of the pump motor bracket. And this is where your 7 16 inch wrench, wrench comes in. All right, so we've got the bearing assembly loose. And now you've got the spring coupler and you want to remove it from the motor first. And we'll set the motor aside. And now you want to remove the other half of the coupler from the bearing assembly. Slide your coupler aside. And uh, now we'll take and inspect the impeller uh, on this bearing assembly to make sure that it's okay to use on the new one that we're going to replace it with. Uh, and of course, it looks in good shape because it's a brand new pump. But we'll remove the impeller now. This is where your socket comes into play. You place it on the acorn nut on the bearing assembly and you hold the impeller firmly with your other hand and just unscrew it. And set that aside and you can use it maybe later for a spare or anything like that. Now we're going to reuse this one with the new bearing assembly. In the old bearing assembly we'll just put all the parts together and set them aside. All right, now we'll get the new bearing assembly out of the box. And as you can see, this is the way it comes in the box. Comes with a little spacer cardboard piece that you can just throw away. It's used to protect the shaft and the acorn nut for shipping. Uh, it comes with a gasket, also a tube of oil. We'll set these aside for now. All right, what you want to do is you want to remove the acorn nut off of the bearing assembly. Set it aside along with the brass washer. And then they use another little piece of cardboard over the shaft to protect it and they use it as a spacer for the seal kit during shipping also. You can take that and throw it away. And this is also a little extra piece that they throw in there to hold the cardboard in place. It's just a little washer. You could throw that away also. Next thing you want to do is you want to remove the spring and set that aside. And now this is where your block of wood comes in to help. Take your bearing assembly and you set it on top of the block of wood so it balances itself like that. Take your flathead screwdriver and very gently go around on the upper brass ring of the seal kit and just tap it across from each other just a little bit 
to make sure that that seal is seated before you put your impeller back on. Then you can take your old impeller, and there's two different ways you can put this on. You can put it on whole, or you can put it on in halves. And to make it easier, we can put it on in halves. So you take your spring and you put it back into place. Find the key and press it down onto the shaft. Take your upper piece and find the key and they'll come together. Now while it's still on the block of wood, take both hands and both thumbs. Hold it like so and force the impeller down onto the shaft with some pretty good force till it clicks. When you hear it click, hold it with one hand in place. Take the little brass washer that comes with it and place it in on top of the shaft and then your acorn nut and hand tighten it. Once you have it hand tightened, you don't need the block of wood anymore. You can set that aside. And then take your wrench again, place it on the acorn nut, and again, put your hand around the impeller and turn. And just snug it up. You don't need to over tighten it. That's all you need to do. We'll take our coupler that we set aside. We'll inspect it to make sure it's in good shape. No grooves, no cracks or anything in the steel. And you'll take it and you'll slide it on the uh, bearing assembly shaft, lining up your Allen screw with the little dimple that's in the shaft. All right, now that we've got the coupler half on the shaft, again, through these little holes that you see in the side of the bearing assembly, insert your Allen wrench and slowly start to tighten that Allen screw. And as you're tightening the Allen screw, there's a little dimple in the shaft, an indentation that it should fall into. And you'll feel the coupler move until it's locked in place. And then again, to tighten, just get it snug and give it a little twist. That's all the tighter it needs to be. Now we'll put the other coupler half on the motor shaft and the same thing applies here. The Allen screw has a little dimple that it goes into on the motor shaft. Again, once you've got it in place and it's a little bit snug, just give it a little twist. And that's done. And now we'll put the bearing assembly back onto the motor bracket with our four little bolts. Okay, now we've got all our bolts finger tight. And now we want to tighten it up with our 7 16 inch wrench. And again, just snug. You don't need to over tighten them. All right, now we're going to take the whole pump assembly and we're going to insert it in the pump body. Take the new gasket that came with the bearing assembly and insert it right inside here into the groove of the pump body. Make sure it stays in place. And then we'll insert the whole thing. Being careful not to pinch or kink that gasket. And once you've got it into place, take one of your bolts and hand tighten it so it's has, it stays there and then you don't have to hold the pump the whole time. All right, now we have all the bolts finger tight on that. And this again, tighten your bolts snug. You don't need to over tighten them. At this point in time, what you want to do is you want to open up your service valve slowly so all the pressure doesn't hit that pump, uh, pump body and, and impeller and seal surface all at once. So slowly open up your service valve. And once you get them open, you can check for leaks. If there's no leaks, then what you can do is you can take your tube of oil. And there's two ways of oiling this bearing assembly. You can either hold open the little trap oil door here and cut the tube of oil and add it to that hole. 
or you can remove with your flathead uh, screwdriver. You can remove the whole cover. Just remember the way you take it off. And you can add the oil this way. And once you've added the oil, you can put the cover back on. Turn your electricity on and you're ready to pump some hot water.